Want to make your game go from looking like this to like this? This video is for users on PC with an NVIDIA graphics card. To check to see if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, click the Windows search bar and type about your PC in the graphics card box. Check to see if it says NVIDIA. Make sure you have the NVIDIA app on your PC. If you don't, you can download it from their website. Open the NVIDIA app and go to the Drivers section. Make sure your game ready drivers are up to date. Go to the Settings tab and then in the Features section, make sure NVIDIA Overlay and the Game Filters and Photo Mode are turned on. You may need to restart your PC afterwards for it to take effect. Launch the game and click Alt F3. This will open the Filters section. Select a profile and add filters here. These are the filters I use. RTX Dynamic Vibrance with an intensity at 100% and saturation at 0%. Details with Sharpen at 0. Clarity at 70. HDR Toning at 100. And Bloom at 0. And finally, Brightness slash Contrast with exposure at negative 100, contrast at 100, highlights at negative 100, shadows at negative 100, and gamma at 100. Feel free to mess with the settings until they are to your liking. You can also set a hotkey to toggle the filter on and off. Click the back arrow and click the settings gear at the top. Click shortcuts and set a hotkey for whichever profile you selected. All right, and then there's a couple in-game miss settings you wanna change under the video tab. So make sure you have brightness turned to 250%. That one's kind of a given. Make sure Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0 is turned off. That one is really important. Skylight, turn that on. I recommend having shadows on soft and then turning shadow resolution to very low. This will make maps like Nell's Diner more bright. And then these three don't make your game brighter, but they do make your game look better. So I recommend turning off Bloom, Film Grain, and Chromatic Aberration. And then these two are pretty important as well. Make sure eye adaptation is turned on if your computer can handle it. And then also turn screen space illumination off.